Labyrinth Hookman. Yeah, Van Dorp started in 2019. And so using that, you can almost see. So they're trying to just. He's over the hog. They're watching close. Well, run it back into the yeah, pack. Curl! Takes forever. Okay. Make the hit, make the double, and roll. It's a great shot. It's a great outcome. Really working hard. And roll. Gets fortunate to catch the back no, just, one. I didn't ever need to Wait, was okay. Just yeah. heavy, hey? No. Wait, was You're good. trying to throw a hack, right? Yeah. yeah. You're good. Sorry, bud. That's okay. Heavy, maybe? Not much. No. No. Okay. Good conversation there, trying to get a hog figure out yeah. what happened. Three uh, seconds been over every time he throws. I'm just leaving that one. And as they were preparing to throw that, you heard Darren Molding talking about it. Um, if you were with us the first couple sessions, we had the electronic eye on the hog. And now they switched handles to the non-electronic. They're having some yeah, issues, so made a deal. Yeah, Darren and yeah, Team Canada obviously saw something. Yeah. That's where they can request an official. That's right. So I, it sounds like they feel the second especially has been going over the hog line for the first couple of ends. So they have a right to ask the officials to stand on the hog line for their throws. Well, Lawrence Hookman, 73%. Numbers for the team lower, and it's just that execution is making three quarters of all their shots as opposed to. You see the official there watching the hog line. And it has been called. He's not just watching for one player, he's watching everyone now. He is, absolutely. Team Canada requested him to be there, but he is watching everyone on that sheet now. And most players at this level are, have that feel yeah. releasing at the same time on every shot. Hair heavy. Hair heavy. It's been a while since we've seen those hog line officials. It was back in 2004 when they first put the electronic ones into play. Wow, it's, it's been that long, hey? That's amazing. Those things are fantastic and obviously have to take the job away from these officials. But it does get cold when you're in a club yeah. sitting there <laughs> watching the uh, hog line all the time. A yeah, chance of the double, and it used to be the point where you'd have, correct me if I'm wrong, but two on each hog line, so you'd have four of them sitting the duration of the game. That's right, you used to have to say hog line and confirm to actually have a rock pulled. Bring this one down right to the nose. They'll confirm. Nice shot. Uh, two. They'll confirm that it is in. I don't know how accurate it is. Yeah, okay. Well, they bring their eyes. Every team has a set of eyes to make sure. So they confirm that they think it's in. And it is two. So 4 2. Canada leads after four ends of play. So you still would have had your guard there. Well, run this one back. Spills that one actually into a freeze. Worst case scenario for Team Canada. Oh, he's not far. Not far. Well, well. Beauty. Just like that, Hard. get it out. Look at that one for what Darren Molding. A shot. <laughs> and it's trying to create a pocket. Sorry. <laughs> well, <laughs> not allowed to sweep the opposition stone above the D-line. Whoops. As soon as they did it, they started realizing yeah. that, oh, nope. <laughs> yeah, do we want to chip it is the question. Oh, we do. <laughs> I think we will all do jail smoke. Okay. Pull over time. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's okay. the, the thing I love about this sport is you yeah, see as soon as it. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think we probably should. You marked him, you're going to freeze it. 